That is all because of the strength of the community itself. When we give, it's against the shuk, something value that's negative value that's mentioned in the Quran, it's called the shuk. When you have a shuk, I don't see me. Everybody's nafs is like greedy by the force. I want to keep it to myself. This is my money. This is my effort. This is my talent. This is my mind. So we want to, we, everybody is greedy by the force, the nafs itself. But Allah said, those who are protected against their own greed, those are the successful ones. And when we, when we talk charity or volunteering, we don't just talk money. Even though money or donating is one of the most important aspects of, of charity or giving, but it involves everything that anybody can offer. In the Majhul Fifty, or Shemaan, or Bidhi, or Bidhi, or Bidhi, or Bidhi, everything in life, being it materialistic money, being it thoughts, an idea that you share, being it something physical that you can do, or social that you can offer, man yashba shabaat al hasana, even using your own power and position to help someone else in a good way. Allah said those who intercede in good intercession, help somebody get through in a good way. That counts, Yaqudah Nasibun, Minha, that will count as a good deal that you will have to share back out of that. What is the motive that should be the motive for any of that? It should be the reward from Allah. For us Muslims, we do it for the sake of Allah. Even when we serve humanity, we serve it for Allah. If we do it for humanity, then humanity may give us back or not. But when we do it for Allah, it's guaranteed Allah Azza wa Jalla will always give us that. And our deed is saying us, the Prophet said that that was beautiful. Shall I tell you? Be afwal in darajah of siyam or qiyam or sadaqah. Shall I tell you about a grade, a degree that's higher than the grade of siyam, fasting, salat, prayer, sadaqah, charity. Not the obligatory, the extra one. Something higher than the extra, even of the, the, the essential actions of Islam, we do not have to be of the way of Allah. Please, I was taught that salat. Salat or Islam or that is vain when you read inside between two people. When you are a good catalyst to bring the people together, two people are fighting, go make peace. Don't do the other one, the, the other way around. If you do the other way around, in the fire. If you bring peace and reconcile people, and then the other said, this is even better than prayers for Salat and everything. What I said that is vain. He said the same hadith to go apart from one another to be in. Division kind of thing. This is hadith, this is like the trimmer, the powder. And in another hadith, he said, I don't say it cuts and trims the, the hair, it trims the deen. When you are in trouble with someone else, that's against the very deen, it takes away your deen. So deen is coming to make us get together. And if somebody helps you do so, he's doing something better, even better than Salah Siyam al Kaji. We have so many. Those who make extra, the whole world. A good is good for you. Whatever you offer and do for your own selves, a good. These are the top. Khayyir and good that you can make, but it also involves any khayyir. Any good that you can offer, you actually do it for yourself. And you will see the consequences and reward and compensation with Allah, Khayra, or Ahlan Azra, you will see that even better and more rewardable with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La khayra fi kathirin min ajwaahum, the Quran is telling us, Allah is telling us, there's no good in much of their secret thoughts. Let me tell you about something. The thoughts that we share, the thoughts that we share, the, the secret things that we have, Allah said, most of that doesn't have khayra illa, except man amal wa sadaqah. If you order, if you command, if you spread the word about give salah, can you help that person? Al ma'roof or something good. Spread the, the good word, spread it, and let others know about ways that they can do good. Al islam bain al nas or to make peace and reconcile people. So somebody who refer to this would definitely do it himself first. So this is someone who does these and. Have, share that with others, urge others, recruit others to do good as well. Allah said this is good to do. When you have Abelika and the person who does so, if the Lord of Allah in them, seeking the reward and the pleasure of Allah, the Sultan of the Azra and Ali, may give him a great deal of the word. So, a, a person who volunteers, a person who's charitable, 
is working not only for his benefit and interest, but for the benefit of others as well. And in both cases, he is, they are reaping the, the, the reward, they are giving the benefit. Lift everybody get over the, the hindrance, the, the barrier. Every day, think about it this way. 
Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said every day, every joint, 360 joints or so in the body of a Muslim, every single sun rising day, sun coming, new day, there is a salah over every joint in your body. Allah gave it to you for free. So you have to give back and you owe 360 sadaqah back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gives us the ways in the authentic hadith or how we give back for that ya'ti wa yadnaini sadaqah. If you make justice between two people, it counts as sadaqah. You help somebody who is in need of sadaqah. Somebody is trying to carry something over their mouth back then. You taking somebody to a sister or brother in the car, take it to the trunk, tell them, put it in the car, comes a salah. Well, getting a little salah. If you speak a good word, it acts as a salah. And if you have a full of people, you can the message, every sit to the message, this is the first ilah that comes out of the chosen enemy. Every sit, if you give to the message, comes as salah, or you give to the and the if you give me one to find from the way, this comes as salah. In the other hadith, Abu Dhabi, Rasulullah, can I, what can I do? He said, Jihad with you, Sabi, the best you can do. I cannot do that. Thank you. Number two, what if somebody cannot do that? Until he came all the way down, Allah, wa ta'uf, wa sha'afa ka'an nasi, wa wa mikta sadaqa ka'an nasi. If you cannot do any of the above, then at least keep your evil, keep your harm from reaching people. This will be sadaqa that will be counted for you. Don't harm others. Refrain to keep the bad things from going. If you cannot do or give anything good, then at least don't do the bad things. If we look at the examples of the prophets, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the wahi to the prophets. Wa awhayna ilayhim. We have revealed to them all the prophets, or those prophets mentioned, mentioned to do good. Everything good in the deen, in the dunya, everything good is from the wahi that was given to the prophets and righteous. Uh, uh, prophets. Musa is uh, coming, running away from Egypt. Fir'aun is after him, after he killed the person, and he is in his way. You can imagine somebody who is running, fleeing his country, and traveling all the way to Madian, a different country, different people, and he's a stranger, he doesn't even know the people. He found two women who are in need of help, and everyone else is refraining from helping them. Actually, they are doing the opposite. There is a water bill, and the men are rushing, the strong people are rushing to get the water first. What is that? You should allow the women to go, you should help them, you should... They are not doing it. You are a stranger. You are from a different city. You are very tired from long travel. But no, Musa A.S. stand up and say, Allah, 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 Allah. He brought the water for them, or he gave water for the animals and for them. And then he is now under the shade of the tree, making dua, Qala Rabbi Himi Hima Anzal Tehidayah Min Khayyim Khabib Fajahat Wa Ikhda Huma Tanisha Asadiyah Ya Allah, I'm very disturbed for any khayr and goodness that comes to me from you and right away, soon after that, one of the girls came and gave him the invitation his father, her father is inviting him and a lot of good things will come out of his act of charity that he did something very small that he did he wasn't required to do, but he did Musa A.S. told again in the story of Ahl, uh, the story of Kaf, the story of al Qadr, when they went, they built the wall. Even though the, the very people of the, 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 the people of the very town, they refused to give them even food to eat. But they built it. It's done for the sake of Allah and the order of Allah. But that's how we should always do. Do good, don't wait for any grace of people. Zakariya A.S. Kafalaha Zakariya, he is the one who took care of Maryam. Um, Musa, Maryam of Nathan and Ra, he took care of her. Muhammad, if you look at the life of your Prophet, a great Prophet, it's full of that. From early on, even before he is a Prophet. And that's clear from the statement of Khadija, when he received the angel, Wahi, he was so shivering and trembling. And then he said, Zanbiluni, cover me, cover me. I think something wrong is happening, something bad. Kalla Allah ila yudzika Allah abadan. No, I swear by Allah, she's saying, Allah will never disgrace you because, and she said, you always help those who are in need, you are generous to your guests. Tahmiru kalla wa tu'imu. Wa tu'imu ala wa ayin al-haqqa. Look at like so many things that you do, he doesn't have to do. He does not have to do any of that, but he always goes 
out of his way to help others. That's basically what Muhammad sallallahu in the honest description of his own life that knows him inside out. He helped in the building of a cap. Young, as he was young, he was carrying the, the stones and the materials with everybody else. The, the, his awa was almost uncovered and he heard the voice of the awa. So from, from early on, Multiple coalitions in Mecca, they got together the leaders in the Quran and they said we should not allow any maqlub, any oppressive person, anybody who is going through a distress, we should not allow this in Mecca. Whether he is from Mecca or from outside of Mecca, let's all agree on that. He was part of that with his uncles. And he was so proud of it. Later on, after he became a prophet, he, he was always mentioning this. I have witnessed this coalition in this house that night that if I'm being offered such and such for not being there, I wouldn't accept. So he was proud of being there, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's same as the famous story that when they disagreed, when they rebuilt the Kaaba later on, five years before he became a prophet, who should put the black stone in place? And they all accepted Muhammad. And he was part of everything that was going on uh, with his people. Migrating to, and actually before migration, the people of Quraysh, they were trusting him. He is the person to keep our trusts. He would do happily, working like the same boss. And nowadays, you know, keep, can you keep this for me? This is volunteer. Okay. And, and, and even though they, were, they did what they did to him, and he had to leave the city, he appointed Ali ibn Abi Talib to give them back everything. Moving to Medina, he dealt not only the Muslims built the masjid, he built the masjid with them. Can you imagine? In the 50s, 53 or so, his uh, life was that he's carrying, literally carrying the stones and working with them, carrying those trunks of trees. And he was working even more than anyone else that the Sahaba seeing that, they said, they become times when you want to take risks. And then every time you take risks, they said, they just now also we are Yamalu, but that can mean that Amal Mullahu. It's not even fit that we say what the Prophet is working. You see him even yet in Binafsi. He is putting the bodies in the grave himself in the old age. Any Sahabi can do that, any of the Sahabi. Late at night, one night, somebody passed away. Not famous, you probably don't even know his name. Not known to even the Sahabi, many of the Sahabi, Dutbi Jadayi. And he participated in the burial of himself by Salaam late at night. And he put him, he said, your brother. He, 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 down, he got down to the grave. He said, delicately give me your brother. And he put him and he said, Allahumma inni rawdin anhu, shiruka inni rawdin anhu, fadda'an. Oh Allah, I'm happy and pleased with him. You be happy and pleased with him. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is the written place of Allah, I hope, and I pray, and I wish I could be the person in his place. And then he said, I saw the saying, but saying him, I am happy uh, and blessed and uh, uh, Pleased with him, so is Allah pleased with him. So you see, the Prophet was part of everything physically, putting his life, putting his strength, putting everything for the community, for the betterment of his community. So Allah Alayhi wa Sallam, Allah Subhanahu wa Sallam, wa Alayhi wa Sallam, Allah Alayhi wa Sallam, Allah Alayhi wa Goats 
goats and sheep for the uh, for his neighborhood. You know who had go help the, this old lady down the road? You will have an old lady down the road. Go help her. He was not, that, that's, that's what he did. He was chores for them. Now he is a Khalifa. <laughs> Everybody thought and said, don't think he's going to come and do it. Next day he's there. He said, are you going to do it? He said, yeah. Why? I hope that what Allah put me into the position that I'm in, I hope it doesn't change me. And the Khalifa of Muslims, the head of the state, is going to be able to milk, do the chores. Imagine, can you imagine? That's our history and legacy. Oh, my God, Allah, I have so many stories. The time is very short to mention even a few of the stories. Is it only for men for the fact of Sahabah? And he said, the women in the time is not one or two, tens of women. They will do, they will volunteer for Aisha, Allah, Allah. One day, Aisha, Allah, Allah, will take the water and go back and forth, back and forth, carrying water and giving it for the thirsty people. You see Ufayda al Ansari, the first field hospital, field clinic, Ufayda was the leader at Ansari. And saying that it's Ka'ab ibn Awf, she was also like a nurse or a physician of her time. She was dedicating her life to uh, uh, help people who are in need of uh, medications and what have you. Or al Rabia ibn Tu'awl, same thing. Many examples that we see from men and women of the Sahab that even begins, like nick, their nicknames, Ja'far al Masakin. Ja'far, the Lord, he loved the needy so much, he would sit with them, talk with them, feed them, play with them, that he was going to be al Mas, the father of the needy. And that was a nickname for many uh, other Sahaba who did so many things. Hakim ibn Hizam, the Lord, uh, was a bigger leader before Islam. Now he accepted Islam, asking the Prophet and the question, Ya Rasulullah, what are all of his good things? He did a lot of good things. Being a Muslim. After accepting Islam, do they count? Uh, you accept Islam, you keep everything good that you have done from before. Even though before accepting Islam, you get zero for that, for, for the day of judgment. If somebody is the most charitable in the whole world, died as a Muslim, they, they take nothing in the after. They get their reward in the dunya. They get it in the dunya. And if they didn't get it fully in the dunya, Allah will make sure they get it fully in this life. Well, after all, pray to Allah, we can be Purely for the Muttaqeen. But if you accept Islam, they all count for you because now the direction is the right way. Allah will make you keep everything that you have done according to this hadith of the Prophet. If you cannot yourself volunteer, there is a value in the Quran and something that we really need to know this year. There were some of the people in Medina. They see somebody donating to them too much, they said, oh, he's doing it to show off. Okay. Then they see a poor Muslim giving like one little one or one little thing, any. He said, oh, in Allah doesn't need you. So they are there to just criticize. No matter what you do, big or small. If you are not going to be proactive or do something good, then at least Maybe somebody just all they can volunteer is just help do something little. But you have others that stole them in home. They ridiculed it, they mocked it. We don't want to put anybody down. You better praise or give a word of gratitude, but don't put anybody down because you know you will stop the fight even though it's uh, it's little. So this uh, Ramadan is coming as a season for this. Extra of everything, extra salat, extra du'a, extra nawaf, to check. People who are needed around the world, the brothers and sisters, and that's the need to act for them. Share your du'a with them. Don't make your du'a only for your own self. Make du'a for people around you. And then do actions as well. See what you can do to change the world. Your world. If you cannot change the whole world, then work on your own world, and the whole world will change. Ramadan is the season for that. Ramadan is teaching us that. Ramadan is the arena for everybody to compete. It begins with the masjid here. It begins with your with our family here. We need volunteers. I need 20 people, 10 men and 10 women to come approach me. I've been asking for this, and then I have a few, and I know you all come, but I need this to action. Come and say, what do you want me to do? We have a lot of things to do, helping the youth. We have so many programs. 
We have so many activities and all. We hired really a lot of people and a few youth as well. But we need really it's for you. What can I do? I have, I can give you many examples from the very building of this mansion and the school here. The school here. And massaging the schools and, and institutions all through the Islamic history that we take pride of. This is all happening because maybe one person or a few people coming together and doing something. And now we're starting to come along. This is why we're all here. Or like in the last, who knows, two, three weeks, two, three families are considering coming here for the school or for this. So you need to put something, maybe whatever you put today, it will attract someone else tomorrow. It will help a Muslim to continue to be a Muslim, to continue to practice Islam. Just bring what you can bring to the message, to the community, to the Ummah, to the community at large, so we can thrive. So I need, inshallah, 10 and 10 to contact me, and I'm talking young and old, everybody. So I can uh, suggest to you what you uh, may do, and you can pick, inshallah. Allah uses and utilizes for that which pleases you, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah is the one who 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 is the one and the for who is the one the one who is the one Allahumma fatina kulubu al-ibadi wa al-ibadi ya Rabbi al-alameen Open the khayr to us and make this openness for khayr ya Rabbi al-alameen Allahumma balilna wa al-wan Allahumma balilna wa al-wan Allahumma suri islam wa aizza al-sameen Wa al-wan fi ahlina fi al-azza wa al-fasteen Allahumma wa al-fatina wa al-sum ya Rabbi al-alameen Allahumma al-sum ya Allahumma aghithum Allahumma aghithum Allahumma aghithum ya Rabbi al-alameen 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 اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين